All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings to the elect of Yasha Allah, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And blessings and salutations to you. I came out there and doing this truth across the four corners of the earth, looking forward to the downfall and destruction of Babylon, also known as America today. Uh, this lesson going to be real short and sweet. I'm on my break at work, but I'm trying to do the work, you know. But no, um, <clears throat> in all seriousness, um, this is something I had a situation that happened to me yesterday. And, you know, I just kind of been dwelling on a brotherhood a lot lately anyway. You know, um, especially with the times that we're coming in, you know, uh, you know, brothers are going to get closer in a sense, you know, by the spirit, though, this is all going to be by the spirit. I was speaking to one of the brothers and he was like, yes, yeah, as if the spirit of maturity is out there, you know, so we're going to be put in situations and go through things that's going to bring us closer together or sift people out, you know. Now, of course, Lord willing, we have that uh, the hope for elect, <clears throat> but the Lord's will is the Lord's will. You know, at the end of the day, fear the most high and keep the commandments. That's that's what you that's all you can do. You know, all you can do is what the Lord told you to do and, and giving your diligence, you know, but uh, dealing with the brotherhood and, and just, you know, brothers, it kind of reminded me of this. Because the situation that I had, she basically was like a, a, a woman, you know, she told me, she said, I, I never be, I never come before your brothers, you know, <laughs> I never come before your bros. And I'm like, no, you won't like, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's outside of the things that the brothers have done for me, but it's, it's like a, a, a cold. you know what I'm saying? It's as if it's a cold. you know, that's how the, how the Lord deals in this it's not like to hell with your family, you know, whatever the brothers need, you better get it. No, it's not that. It's it's like like he said, who is my mother and who is my brother? But those that do the will of, the, of my father, man. All right. That's what it comes down to. This is that initial family, you know, because when you down and out or you need comfort or, or, you know, you don't when the weight of the world is on your shoulders, man. All right. The brothers is the ones that's going to be there to spot you. Not saying that you can't receive and and uh, apply advice from people who are in the world. But who are you supposed to go to first anyway? You're supposed to go to a brother. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be able to trust his judgment, trust his uh, his instinct. And at the end of the day, trust the spirit. All right. Like it tells you in first Corinthians, there ain't of you go to the, uh, uh, the law of the unjust. All right. To, so we, we supposed to deal amongst each other, but it's just, and it's not the first time that that has happened to me over time. I've learned that women really want that spot, you know, w women really want that spot. But in these times, women don't know what the hell that they want. Cause let's say you give them that spot, then you out in the world, and then guess what? She no longer cares for that spot, man. She just wanted. She's envious of that spot because the brothers are there. You know that all that hundred percent attention is not on her, which it shouldn't be, man. As men, we got shit to do. All right, excuse my French, but we got things to do. Okay, cause we are the ones who are gonna get our families out here. As well as we are the ones who are going to make sure Akum are cool and okay and and and, and still um, uh, push it, man. All right. When a brother is, is tripping, you know, we ones, like it says in Jude, pulling them out the fire. All right. By the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, so enough talking. Let me get into the scriptures. This is 1 Samuel 18 and 1. It says, and it came to pass. When he had made an end of speaking unto Saul, that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. And that is very important, man. Okay, it said he loved him as his own soul. And, oh, I hope nobody call me, man. Because I got to look up this word knit right quick. No, but... um. Cause I'm, I'm gonna get the, I don't want to jump the gun too much, you know, but just keep in mind, you know, 
He loved him as his own soul. Yeah, we're going to get back to that. We're going to get back to that. But when you look up the word knit, it goes to the Hebrew word for which it says to bind, tie, bind together, league together, conspire. All right. Conspire. When you look up conspire, that means what? Breathe together. Spirit. Have your spirit together in tune with each other. By what? By the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. OK. To be bound to bind the fast. And what does it say? Um, um, a matter of fact, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. You know, where we at? Hebrews. This is uh, Hebrews 13 and 1. It says, let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to enter entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Remember them that are in bonds as bound with them, man. All right. So as if you're knit with them. As as you going through that, if they going through it, you going through it, you help them push through it and then which suffer adversity as being yourselves also in the body, man. OK, also in that body. So as, it's as if you're going through it, man. All right. That's the strength that we have. Um, that's the strength that we have above the world. We have each other through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. OK. That's the strength that we the world don't have that the world come together on BS. OK, they they not coming together to prove a better solution for humanity, so to speak. OK, and I mean, that they, they say, oh, we can stop the racism. All black lives matter. All lives matter. You know, oh, help with Earth Day, Green Day. Let's recycle all of it. Come on, man. No. It's not enough people because there's more people that don't care than that do care, man. And they ain't got the, the right power behind them for for any of their plans to uh, be successful. All right. The only plan that's going to be successful is the plan of the Heavenly Father, which is to destroy America and rebuild this world, man. Destroy America and take the wicked ruler Esau. All right. Take him out of power and set up a righteous people, man. Being joint heirs with the one who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, which his name is Yahweh Shai. All right. That's the only plan that's going to work because it has the right power behind it. All right. And he governed the world. And that is his that's his plan. That's what he wants done. So that's what's going to get done, man. All right. So remember, it said as 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 if it was his own soul. OK, we got Ecclesiastes 14 and five. It says he that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his good. So, yeah, you if you know how to deal with yourself, you know how to deal with others, man. And that's why the scriptures push so much of examining yourself and, and uh, you know, not becoming a castaway, but teaching others and. There, what what it say? Uh, there is one that that is profit unto many, but is unprofitable unto himself. You have to make sure you own your stuff too. All right, you got to make sure you you examine yourself and and make sure you walk in a right, so other brothers can walk a right. Okay, younger brothers, even the older brother might see, man, this brother been increasing in the spirit. You know, let me let me get on my stuff. You know what I'm saying? You never know when a brother's lacking or what a brother's is going through, you know, so that's also with communication. OK, that communication as well. Like I have said before, we have that above this world. This is John uh, 13 and 34 it says in a new commandment, I give unto you that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also <coughs> shall like it, that, that ye also love one another. You know, and what? What did the Lord do, man? He washed the disciples' feet, man. Okay, as a higher statue as he was, he humbled himself, or I even say humbled himself. He remained humble, okay, and washed the disciples' feet. Cause remember, he was like, "No, nah, we should do this to you. Let me wash." He's like, "Look, if I don't wash your feet, you basically ain't covered." You know, but that's what the Lord, the Lord. Yes, he was austere. He was a man. He was supposed to be. He had to prepare them for what was coming, man. All right. So brothers, that's that's ranked above you or, or you know, when you get reproved and rebuked, man, it's off. It's all in love. OK, it's all in love preparing you for what's coming, man. And it's all through the spirit. 
All right. But at the end of the day, we all need each other. OK, we all need each other. Yeah. Well, yeah. You got to seek your own salvation. That's making sure that you on you on your shit, so to speak. You know, it ain't to hell with the with the vacuum. No, make sure you on yours. So everybody on theirs, man. All right. <clears throat> it says uh, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. If ye have love one to another. And that's what it is. And love is what? Keeping the commandments. So if you keep the commandments towards yourself, you keep the commandments towards towards the occum. You know, none of us perfect. You know what I'm saying? None of us perfect. But the Lord has given us a chance. He's he's preparing us for what's coming. He's preparing us to be perfect, man. All right. He's preparing us to be perfect. That's what's going to come next, man. We're practicing and rehearsing the righteous acts now. But. When he, when he, uh, when we get the new bodies and then we got the new. Man, it's just, it's going to be phenomenal. Okay. But that's what's coming. Uh, that's what's coming, man. But right now we got to still make it through Jacob's trouble through the spirit, power, mercy of Yahweh by Shimei al Shai, if it's, if it's of his will, but all we can do right now is, is give our diligence to make the calling our calling of the election sure. That's all we can do, okay? By way of Yahweh by Shimei Shai and keep stay praying and fasting and watching what's going on because it's not over yet. All right. Hey, with that, Lord willing, you was edified. Want to give all praises once again to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Shalom.